Hey, it's Ken Barrett Laundromat How To. What we're doing today is changing the price on some of my Ipso small stack dryers. So this particular one is using ESD Vertical 8 coin slide. And when you pull it out, to get these out, you got to reach in behind them and this bar screws into place there. It's a uh, side we got here. 516 socket. A lot of times they're already a little bit loose and you can turn them by hand. You may just have to wiggle the, the coin drop a little bit just to uh, to get it to come out smoother. So you want to get in. A couple of things you need you got to get ordered ahead of time. Is one, of course, is going to be your price change stickers. You can get them you know, online, search anywhere, any you know, the supply places. And the other one is going to be these inserts. So what you'll see on here is you've got the black blocked out spots. If you just take them out, the coins just slop around there loose and they're going to catch on here and it's going to be a problem. So what we're going to do is replace those black ones with the steel inserts so that the coins stay upright and people can clearly see where they need to be. So the first step on this is you take these springs off and then from there you're going to take it over, turn it over, and you're going to slide out the coin drop, the coin slide. Okay. Oh, yeah, step ahead. Next step is to take these two screws off and move over to the one I already got done here. You take the two screws off of that, that bracket there, and then this is the part that will cause you some headaches if it comes apart. These are the, the fingers that catch on each quarter, so the, I'm not sure the whole mechanism that works, but they're the ones that catch on to make sure everything's you got the right amount of coins in there. This pin isn't screwed in or tightened in at all, it just slides on there. And then this is your spacer. So you can see where it goes up through the center there. So if you just pick this up, your spacer's going to drop out, these things are going to slide all over and it's a bit of a headache. So to get that out, what I'll do is just take a small screwdriver and grab on the one end and then slide underneath and lift the, the fingers up and then get my finger in underneath it and kind of pick it up. And it may catch back here a little bit, but then I'll keep it level and just sit right down on there. And then, so you've got, so now I've got this piece off, just a regular Phillips screwdriver, you've got that piece off. Now this coin slide, back here. Now this coin slide will go all the way out. Next step is to take off this little brass colored plate here. There's three screws in it. And then just use your small screwdriver to pull out the two blank tabs. And these new ones, pretty simple, just look at the ones that are already there. Pick one in. And watch what I'm doing through the camera, then I might actually be able to show you. Put the other one in, and then it's just reassembly time. You put that on there, put the three screws back in, put these fingers back in. Again, you've got to be careful with them. Get your uh, your fingers right in around them. Use two hands, don't try and do it while you're holding onto a camera. The bar will sit back into these little holes, and then the fingers you need to push that back in so the fingers sit on here. It's just going to be a lot easier. And then that side is done. Kind of switching it back over. And what you'll see now is you've got these these black ones will be gone and the silver ones will be in there. And then I usually put the coins in, push it through, without the springs on, just so it drops out and everything does what it needs to be. And then when you're done, you'll just connect your two screws again, or your two springs, I mean. On this one, the end of the spring's actually broken, but you can get in there and just bend it and pull it around and make that, that little hook again like you need to. And then the last job, of course, is going to be to peel off your old labels and put the new labels on. This, this just wipes off. You can use a dry rag with a Windex on it or something and it'll clear right off and get all shined up and it looks good. The other thing I keep handy is some spray dust or a little air compressor hose if you got one of those. Just to get all the dust out of there that builds up. You know, it's going to be getting around everything in there. I got that plate messed up in there. So it just blows all the dust off. You can see how much drops off as you move it around. You know, there's a bunch of dust coming out of there. And then blow out in around where your, your coin boxes and stuff are too. So it's really kind of simple. Just uh, take your time, uh, lay the parts out one by one as you take them out, and they'll go back in. You can do it all with just a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, so the hardest part is this piece here. And you can see how that kind of fits in. The piece goes below the bar with the hooks facing down. It goes below the bar and then sticks up into each spacer. But he said if you pull that out, these will slide off the ends. They'll slide together and it's, it's a bit of a headache. So that's it. Um, this is an, an ESP Vertical 8. And as you can see back here, they're going anywhere from $0 cents to $8.
So eight dollars, you'd order a different insert here that would hold two quarters for each one. So this is going up to dollar seventy-five. If I go to two dollars later on, I can do that. And if I want to go higher than that, I don't have to replace the slide. I can just keep putting doubles in here until I get up to a total of eight dollars. So there we are. Hope that helps out. Let me know if you got any comments or questions. Laundromanhowto.com.